As is usual with these Saturday videos, I try to cover a topic that I feel is frivolous. It's nonsense. It's bullshit. It doesn't matter. It's it's meant to be just me ranting a little bit, and that's what I'm going to do today. I think if you've watched the channel for any amount of time, you'll know that I enjoy customizing Linux. And it's kind of my thing. I just enjoy doing it. And the, as I've talked about in a few videos in the past, I don't see a problem with that. I don't think anybody else has a problem with that either. You just do with your Linux install whatever you want to do. And I wholeheartedly get behind that sentiment. However, there seems to be one area where there's a lot of people that are just seriously against something, and I don't really understand why. Well, I do understand why. I shouldn't say that. I guess I just don't understand why they're so vehemently against it. And that is the idea of gaps. Now, I told you at the beginning of the video that this was a useless video, and that's what I t tend to do on Saturdays. So... The fact that I'm talking about something as useless as gaps shouldn't shock anybody. But this is my defense of useless gaps. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Before we do, let me just show you what gaps look like. If you don't know. I mean, you probably do, but let's just say you don't. These are gaps. And by gaps, I mean there are gaps between the windows and the other things in the, the window manager. They're gaps. I mean, that's what they say they are. They That's what they are. And as you can see, they are useless. They're just spots of screen space in real estate that isn't used for anything else. That's by definition useless. And the main argument against gaps is that they take away functionality that could be used for other windows. And that's a, a, a very good and very rational argument against not using gaps. And if you are lacking in screen real estate, I can 100% understand not using gaps on your tiling window manager. I understand that. But if you have screen real estate, gaps are kind of awesome. Now, they're, they are useless, even if you have screen real estate, but they're also kind of awesome. And the sole reason why is because it shows your wallpaper. Now, my wallpaper looks like this. Everybody's seen this wallpaper. I can actually show you this without my face on it. Uh, Everyone's seen this wallpaper. I've been posting my rice of various window managers for two or three weeks now. I'm heavily invested in Grubbox right now, and I probably will be for a little while yet. But this is my Grubbox rice on BSPWM. This this right here is Debian Bullseye. I've been testing it for a while. I've finally installed it on my main computer. I've been using it now for a couple days. And the review of that is, I hope, really coming soon because I'm honestly quite sick of Debian. But I like gaps because they show me some of my wallpaper. Now, the gaps I have set here aren't showing me a ton of wallpaper. And normally I have some kind of transparency. But for whatever reason, I can't get Pycom to, to work with transparency on Debian. I'm still working on that. But with transparency and the gaps, it kind of makes it so you can always see your wallpaper when you're working in a terminal. It's kind of cool. And I really enjoy that. So... That's why I use gaps. It's a stupid reason to use gaps, but I really do think that if you're into ricing, gaps kind of make your rice look better. I really do think that. Now, like I said before, use what you want to use, but don't deride people because they use gaps just because you think they're useless. Even if they are useless, it doesn't matter. People can like and use whatever they want to like, even if what they use and like is useless. So... Yeah, that was a really short video. I can't really say I could find a monologue to go on for 20 minutes about gaps. There's not much there. But, yeah, I like gaps. I think a lot of people like gaps. And are they useless? Of course they are. The patch for DWM is called Useless Gaps, or Vanity Gaps is another patch. I mean, it's literally you, you add gaps because you want to make things look better. Or be able to see your wallpaper, I guess. So, yeah, sure, they're useless, but I like them. And I think a lot of people like them, and um, you like what you like. So that's my defense of gaps. Use gaps if you like. I think you should use gaps if you have the real estate for it. Simply because then you'll know that you have a wallpaper. So that is it for us this time. Have a happy weekend if it's still the weekend for you while you're watching this video. You can follow me on Twitter at LinuxCast. You can support me on Patreon at patreon.com slash LinuxCast. Before I go, I'd like to take a moment to thank my current patrons. 
Devon, Chris, East Coast Web, Gen 2 is fun too, Marcus, Maglin, Sven, Jackson, Knife and Tool, Joshua Lee, Mitchell, Arch Center, Merrick, Camp, and Mr. Fox. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.